So we had John came today and delivered my um, supplies. So here we are back in action, thankfully. Um, here's how I moved my bedroom around. So I don't really have too much space over here. But I am thinking if I moved that dresser over here and then put a small something and table, I could actually move the bed closer to that wall. So, but I am glad that uh, it came this morning because yay. And it's raining outside. So out here, oh, let's see. I always lock this screen door because I don't want Marshall to get out on accident. But here we are. Oh my gosh, look. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, but here it's a rainy day. My uh, plants are getting all their wonderful nourishments. But my sweet potato, I don't think is doing too good. Maybe I need to extra water it. I always think when it rains that I don't need to water, but perhaps I still do. I mean, this guy is probably getting some sprinkle rains, but I don't know. Anyways, it's a good day out. The other day there was a huge flash flood warning, and it literally said, like, do not leave because you will die. <laughs> Unless you're fleeing areas, like, don't get in your car. I thought that was pretty crazy, um, especially for Tucson. But we didn't get any of that flash flood flash of the flood here or um, the rain here. We just got a little bit of sprinkles. So wherever that happened at, it's kind of scary. Marshall is over here eating his lettuce. Oh, he really ate all his dandelion leaves. I uh, just dropped by the Goodwill and I'm so excited because I found two folding chairs with cushion. Um, so in Ben's room, instead of him sitting on his bed, which gets flint napping shards everywhere, um, I talked to him about using a chair in a different area. So I was looking for a chair for him because it needs to be something that can be versatile in that it is useful but also can be put away. And um, I did, I go on Marketplace all the time on Facebook to try to figure out, you know, a better deal. Um, I'm quite, <laughs> I like to bargain shop. So I did find two folding chairs for $30. And then I was like, good grief, how much are folding chairs anyways? They are not cheap. Even the ones at Walmart are not cheap. And those don't have cushion. They're just regular folding chairs. Or they're the plastic, really cheap kind. Well, Ben is a man size, so those cheapy kinds aren't really going to last that long. So I don't really want to throw away money on something that could be cheaper, but not last. So, okay, so yesterday I've been watching uh, Project Runway. And I used to watch it all the time um, when I was pregnant with Ben. And that's when Tim Gunn was still on there and Heidi Klum. So I watched every season. And I want to say back then there's at least 11 seasons. Um, and they're still going. So now they're coming out with like the people who have won or were close to winning coming back to see if they can win. Um, and it's different hosts and stuff, so it's kind of cool. And then there's some people who look familiar, and that's cool too. But um, it's just funny, and it's very invigorating and healthy, I want to say, for me, because my mind never stops. So part of the hard part of being on PD dialysis is that because my mind is so active and I'm constantly thinking, it's hard when you have to sit and do your dialysis. And it's hard when you have to sit and not be as active as everybody else because you are just too tired. Um, so yesterday I decided to take a day where I did do quite a few things in the bedroom to change things around. 
Um, and then I did just <laughs> non-stop watch um, Project Runway. And I'm just inspired by their creativity and their fashion sense. And some of it is like, wow, that's really terrible. And the judges love the stuff. Or there's times where I'm like, this is gorgeous. I would wear it. And the judges are like, this is hideous. So I just think it's just fun. And it inspires me to continue where um, my creative niche was going. This road is terrible. Sorry about that. I'm jerking around. Um, where my creative juices were flowing when I was working at the thrift stores. Um, the problem is, is I have great vision. I, I don't know how to sew. Um, although I, ha I, I was gifted a couple of sewing machines, but I'm not gifted area to create things. And I don't have the basic knowledge of even a simple stitch, although I have all the creative ideas. So I'm not saying that I'm gonna go ahead and, and start sewing up a bunch of things uh, because I really need to get rid of quite a few things that I have collected. Um, so in my purging and selling and creating, it just kind of feels like a good vibe again because I'm not stuck in a rut of what, what am I doing? Because I think on dialysis or when you have a disease, it's easy to get stuck in this is just how it is. And it is just how it is. But at the same time, it's also like we still need to be functional humans in this world. And we still need to be able to um, create or do something that is brain stimulating. So, um, you know, uh, some people do music, some people do art. Um, I don't think that I am in a specific spot because I do have a piano <laughs> and I do play with it, but it's not something that I'm so passionate about that I would definitely jump on stage and be a performer. Um, that's just not really my niche, although it's continuously is in my mind because there's days where I do play and um, that's so healthy because my mind is exercising in that creative spot. So <laughs> I don't know. It's just been pretty cool this last couple of days because the weather's been nice. Um, although yesterday I was super tired, so I really did just kind of binge watch Project Runway. Um, while working in my bedroom and getting stuff situated in there. Um, but then again, it's okay to take days like that because you're just going to be exhausted over nothing. <laughs> and I moved a bookcase yesterday, which was not heavy. And it's one of those really cheap bookcases that fall apart basically on you um, from Walmart or wherever. They're like 20 bucks, you know, they, they usually advertise them for bedroom or in the dorm because they're just kind of like you use them, then you get rid of them because they just don't work well. Well, this one was bought a long time ago, so it was actually put together really well and it wasn't heavy, but it wasn't flimsy. And that was really awesome because I was able to uh, move that by myself. I didn't have dextrose in me when I moved it. And then I had to move it into a couple of different locations in the bedroom because I was like, oh no, it looks terrible there. Um, part of the problem in my room is the dialysis boxes. Like, there's nothing attractive about them. Um, I guess I could hang something on them, like a curtain or, I don't know, maybe hide them behind some type of hanging curtain or something, but that doesn't really make sense either because I'm in them all the time. And then once you empty a box, you have to kind of rotate your boxes so that you're continuously using the oldest boxes first. So sometimes, depending on how many boxes you get, it's just a continual cycle of shifting and moving and trying to get ready for the next time. Because, you know, sometimes like you're in the middle of life and then you're like, oh shoot, I have to go do an exchange. And you don't want to have to dig up the box that you need. So you want it to be completely ready. At least that's how I am. So if I empty a box, I always take that empty box into the kitchen area so that I know, or whoever's there taking out trash, know, oh, take this box out too. And then um, 
I will go ahead and open the next box so that it's just continuous movement and it's not something that I have to stop and get all ready and so forth. And that may not seem like a big deal, but it kind of is, especially when it's such a repetitive thing and you're having to do it again, <laughs> like several times a day. <laughs> so I don't know, that's just kind of my system. Um, I did find that I have to put my cart across the room in an area instead of right by me because where it was before I sat in my chair and I pulled it close to me because it was right there. Um, now I'll have to bring it across the room, but that's okay because um, it's on wheels and my cart, my cart, I should say, my cart is on wheels. Oh my gosh, there's these beautiful purple flowers growing. Um, so that helps. And it's just really practical because it has compartments so um, everything is within reach and then whenever I start to run out of something then I will automatically just fill it up I don't know it's just the system I have so I really like the cart um, and it's fine that it's across the room and I'm actually going to put my pole away <laughs> I know after I decorated it um, and I'm going to find a really fun hook or a knob, I should say, like um, like maybe a glass doorknob, something that I will use to um, hang my bag on. I, I'm sorry, there's like, I don't know what's happening up here. Oh, it looks like uh, somebody had a broke down and there's a tow truck. Okay, I just don't like to rush up on things that I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Anyways, but I did want to show you this really cool thing I did get. If you're in my, if you've ever come to my apartment, you're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, that's totally you." Check this out. Isn't that the coolest thing? Let me see if I can. It's just a little plaque that you hang on your wall, but that's totally me. I do like that it's pink and kind of a very bright pink. I am a little bit thinking about maybe painting it purple or black. I feel like it might get lost with black and I think like pink might be perfect in my kitchen area yeah I'll have to show you where I put it in the end okay I'm gonna run in here I hope you guys have a good day again because usually at this point in time fall is coming summer's kind of ending at least here in Tucson it kind of ends um, but not really <laughs> be sure to drink your water because even though you're not super super thirsty and hot doesn't mean that your body doesn't need it so and I started just like the smaller pack of water from um, fries I just leave it in the back of my car now actually behind my seat so that whenever I am thirsty I just have water there all the time and I can't get dehydrated yeah <laughs> so okay I'll talk to you guys later bye